Hey guys, um, so I ordered the Razer Naga MMO gaming mouse about a week ago, and it just came in, so I figured, um, why not for my first video make an, um, unboxing of this. So, um, I did open it up, I haven't taken anything out yet, but I just wanted to, you know, check out and see what exactly was in there, but, since I didn't take anything out, I figured it'd still qualify for an unboxing. <laughs> okay, so, um, first off, let's open up the case. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand because I don't have a tripod, but yeah, it'll work. So, um, it's really nice packaging. It's like, I wouldn't say it's cardboard, but it's it's like a, it's not like thin paper, you know. It has all this, uh, writing and whatnot. Um, the mouse is in there with a nice green background. Looks nice. And I, I like how it has, like, um, a space where you can actually touch the mouse and see how it feels. Because if your hand was too big or whatever, then you know, then that way you can actually kind of test it out a little bit before you buy it. So that's very nice. And I like how the front, you can see right here how it's, it's like shiny. I don't know. And same here. It feels, feels nice. Then, put them on the side. 17 buttons. Maximum comfort for long gaming sessions. Custom interface add-ons. In the back, I'm not going to bore you guys with all this, but pretty much just kind of saying how good the laser is um, and all of its features um, okay so I oh here we go. Uh, over here it's just kind of like a like a, um, a message to the buyer I'm guessing and more stuff about how good the mass is if you want if you can even see that you can pause it there but okay. if you really want to read that um, okay so I'm gonna turn this off real quick and open it up so you can see the inside but well okay yeah I'll just I'll just <laughs> open it up like this I don't have to pause it okay so here let me put this down real quick I apologize for the mess I literally just opened this thing just a couple minutes ago let me see if that's far enough yeah okay there we go. I'm gonna keep this because that's a nice box. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so here's the mouse here. And when you flip it like this, you can see the cord is a nice, uh, I don't know if you can see that on there, but it's a uh, it's braided um, fabric. So it should be um, not as easily tangled as rubber cords or things like that. And also, a really nice gold-plated uh, USB, which is always a plus. Um, over here, on the back, uh, we have a little book to it, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm going to try and rip this off without breaking the package, because I'd rather that I keep this. <laughs> Oh, okay. I didn't rip the packaging, so it's okay. Okay, so it's uh, a few little books in here. Um, let me put this up. Sorry, I apologize. I wish I had a tripod. I can get one pretty soon. There we go. So here's this. Again, it has a nice, shiny, kind of smooth feeling uh, cover here. And on the back, for gamers by gamers, razorzone.com. Okay, just slides out easy. <laughs> oh, okay. Welcome to the Court of Razor, it says. And then, slides open like this. And here's all the booklets. I'm not going to read all these individual, individually to you, but uh, this is a certificate of authenticity saying this is a real Razer product, which is always good. Razer, what is this? Just, um, 
I, I think it's instructions. Oh, oh, I see. It's the instructions in right here. There's uh, if you can see that there's two little pads with the um, with the buttons that you can put over the the buttons on the Naga. So that it's the little stickers, you know. So uh, if you if you haven't heard already, um, they're they're just little stickers that you can place. Um, right over here over the buttons so that that way you can uh, kind of train yourself as to see uh, like which button you're on um, so it's kind of like a training wheels <laughs> but for the mouse um, what's this quick start guide I don't think we need to look through that seems uh, simple enough okay we have a master guide this is kind of cool the back has like a textured Razor logo. Uh, uh, again, it's just kind of a guide with a message from the Razor guy, who that is. <laughs> um, stickers! Woo! Best part of getting a Razor product. The stickers. And, okay. Next thing. Razor Naga. Get in the... That's it. Just a little... Okay, a little paper. <laughs> and a product catalog. So it's just all their products from mouses to keyboards to headsets, etc. Alright, so here's a mouse now, and I will slide down. Put that to the side, and then use the mouse. Um, sorry, let me put you down again. Okay, so here's a mess. Um, let, let me hold it with my left hand so that I can actually show you the buttons. Uh, uh, it doesn't have a bad weight to it. It's actually, it's it's not heavy, but I'd say it's like medium in the weight compared to, well, compared to my old uh, compact Razer mouse, or <laughs> not Razer, just a compact mouse, um, it's, it, it, I've read, or I've uh, heard in other videos that were, uh, um, like, unboxings of this, that it felt really rubbery up here, it really, it doesn't feel that rubbery on the top of the mouse, it's more of like a, kind of like a matte finish, you know? Uh, it, it is slightly rubbery, but I wouldn't, I don't want you to expect it to be like, kind of like bouncy ball rubbery, you know? It's, it, but it does feel nice, it doesn't feel bad whatsoever, and it feels like it is worth the money <laughs> for this part. Um, left and right click. These I really like, the, the buttons, with my old mouse that I've had for like two years, it, the buttons would just, you, you know, you just click like this with this the buttons like bounce back up so you, it feels like you can just press them forever <laughs> um, and then here are the side buttons here and I've also heard in other reviews oh the side buttons are hard to push the side buttons feel perfect I it's not hard to push whatsoever but it's not so light that it's that it's like easy to push and it, really this is as good as it gets I'm I can't stress that enough okay and um, it has a little plastic piece on the bottom, so I'm gonna take this off real quick. I'm gonna slide this off. I uh, guess I just have to rip it off. <laughs> okay. So, oh, uh, and there's uh, another one on the back here. Give me a second. Sorry about that. Got it. Okay. So, uh, the bottom, um, it has normal mouses, mice, mice, I don't know. They have usually four little pads right here, or three, like one, two, three, something like that. 
But um, this is nice. It has a one going around the whole entire bottom. Not that it makes a huge difference or anything. Just kind of, it's kind of like an aesthetic thing. It I think it looks quite nice. <laughs> um, it has that insanely good looking laser in there. Um, and a little button here for, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I think it switches from your number pad to your, uh, the keys on top of your keyboard here from the number pad, like up here, uh, or this number pad. So, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, that's nice. It has a, uh, glossy plastic finish all around, and it's not like light plastic, it feels, it feels like it's, like a quality plastic. Uh, these buttons, right here, not a big fan of, sorry, um, these, they're kind of hard to push, especially this back, this back one, but it would, it would work, it's, it's not, it's definitely not terrible, you know, and I really can't stress enough, even if other people say that these, these buttons are hard to push, and even these back ones, like, I don't even have to strain whatsoever to push these, it's like, it's just completely natural, so, I've, I've heard other people say that it's tough. It's really not, you know. Maybe it's different because I have more medium-sized hands. I don't have really big hands, but, you know. Um, oh, and the scroll wheel here. This is also really nice. It has a rubber, like, this is actual thick rubber, like bouncy ball rubber on the top. And um, it has nice little ridges in it. I'm not, yeah, you can see it. And uh, it lights up on the side. Okay, and, um, so that's about it for this. It, you know, the top feels nice, really nice. I, I can't stress that enough either. It, I was, I wouldn't really like the, uh, the, the bouncy ball rubber on the top. I don't think that feels that nice, but this, it, it feels really good, you know. Um, and it, the, <laughs> the bouncy ball rubber on, on the scroll wheel, that actually helps, you know, because it'll, it, your finger won't slide off of it. And, uh, you know, that's a plus, I think. So, um, this video is 12 minutes long so far, so I'll try to keep this as quick as possible. I'm going to go plug this in, and I'll show you how it looks uh, lit up. So, I'll be right back. Hey again, guys. So, um, here's how it looks lit up. It's, uh, it's actually quite bright. Uh, when I saw pictures of it, I thought it would maybe be dull. But no, it's, it's really nice. And, um, right here, if you didn't know, see how it fades and then comes back? That is really cool. And the scroll wheel, of course, also really nice. No, oh, and I almost forgot, right here, there's a little, uh, rest for your, um, for your middle, or your ring finger or your pinky. Also, that, that really helps. So, uh, that's about it for my review of the Razer Naga. Oh, one more thing. Um, I couldn't recommend this thing enough. I would give it like a, you know, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. I'm, I'm gonna go that far. <laughs> well, compared to my old mouse. Yeah, this is the old one. Not a whole lot to work with here. Two buttons, well, three if you include the middle one. Not the best. Oh, and the laser also uh, doesn't have a big red light like this one does. So that's also quite cool. Okay, well, thanks again for viewing, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.